Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Marks, this is Markscraft, and today we're going to be working some more on the fishing village. Alright guys, so between episodes I have filled in the connection between this lake like, well it's now a lake. It was uh, kind of just like a dead end connection from the sea at one point. Um, so I've ended the, the sea connection here. And this is where we're going to build a uh, small kind of like footbridge. Um, maybe like three, three wide maybe. Maybe four or five. Uh, we'll see. Um... But yeah, I've just connected, so disconnected it from the sea and uh, built up this middle bit here. I may bring it in a little bit more, just make it sort of one higher, just so we've got this bit more gradient going on with it. Um, so it's not quite as disconnected to over there. And I replaced that with a piece of brown glass. I may have to change it just because it blends a little bit too much. Um, and it looks kind of funky. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. And I've added some vines on the side just to, to grow. Um, so the hope for this episode is to get a few of these guys up just so we've got a bit more variation in here um now i might get everything up may may not uh we'll see how things go i do want to get this road changed over as well i decided i do want to do it um with campfires and trap doors and things like that so I don't th think I've got any on me no so I'm gonna have to make some campfires and things and uh, and get that done so the main road will probably still be road like so I'll change this out for my uh, my proper path design and um, but then as we come in kind of like down here it'll transition into kind of like a, a floating platform sort of thing and so i'm gonna have to water log it all which is fine it'll connect them better with this it'll make more sense and that's what's gonna run around all through here up to the mayor's house thing um and then i'll probably disconnect it again at this point to like step up and then this be solid ground kind of makes sense because it's the market and we don't want like a floaty floaty market be a bit weird so oh yeah place some, some bushes in the water i do need to get some seagrass in here um and i've got some it's kind of like uh, a reed idea so i'm thinking probably um iron fences so if, I, if i've got in fact i might be able to make some uh where is it in yeah, my sparklies i've got some iron which i do so i only need six yeah and some Bruce, uh, let's see, Fence. there we go, so the thought is, I've not actually tried it, so I don't know how it looks, but basically, for the stem, to use the iron rods, and then the actual top bit, as that, so, Obviously, reeds are normally green, but we 
don't particularly have anything that's like that, that's green. I suppose I could actually I could use glass panes. Hmm, that's a thought. Why didn't I think of that before? So yeah. Um green lime green maybe glass panes and then like the the head bit that they have um like the cattail thing the spruce kind of does resemble it the best i think so a few of those dotted around was the plan i think glass panes probably are the best way to go with that so I'm going to have to go and get some of those. Um, so yeah, I will go and get ready for bits and bobs. And then we'll do a few of these. I'll probably do them in a time lapse. Um, that's probably the best shout. And hopefully we'll, oopsie daisy, we'll get at least these three up. Um, I've got a pretty good idea for the watchtower. It's just a case of how it works out. I might do that as another storage over there, you know. Kind of similar to this, but better. Ish. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'll go and grab my bits and bobs. And we'll come back into the time lapse. So I will see you guys after we have built these guys up. Okay, so in that time lapse, we got a little bit of the village actually up. Um, I've done a small amount since, and uh, well, let's let's just show you what we've done. So I have gone around and uh, just added in a few bits and bobs just to decorify, not decorate, but decorify. It's a new word. Um, the buildings that are here so far, so a lot more needs doing to them. So like this one's got nothing on it. Um, probably my favorite roof so far, actually. Seeing that, let's uh, just scaffold it up. Um, so it's a slight variation on that one, but it just looks better, I think. Um, so it's still on the top of the top blog, 
uh, low block. And then it's another one sat on top of that and a slab inside in the middle. So rather than it being um, built like that one is, uh, it's just a little bit more gradual and I think it looks a little bit nicer. I changed that one over there to it, kind of. I took the, uh, the middle section out and just added in slabs and put in some supports for the roof, which for the balcony bit, which kind of looks weird. I might take that off. I'm not sure. It does look a bit on the odd side. It's kind of like it bows a bit. It's not too bad, I guess, but it's weird still. I don't know. So, um, I just saw in the time lapse, I did start the kind of like floating footpath bit um and i've also oh that fish is gonna die maybe nah it's fine um so yeah i added in some fish just to give a little bit of life in the area however yeah th th this this happens they flop around because of the flow of the water uh, it's kind of inevitable but the ones on this side seem to be managed. I got some cod over here and one tropical fish just there. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I built the um, the path up. When I got to here, I was like, okay, wait, it doesn't make sense actually to have this bit floating because the water doesn't go under it. It only cuts under here, uh, this bit. So it cuts through here. So that kind of made sense. But then it comes to solid ground, so I thought, okay, well, we'll keep this solid. But then we've got another cut through here. So at this bit, I turned it into our nice little kind of floating walkway area. I need that one. Um, I really like this one. I don't know why. I just really do. It, it's kind of like the, the fact that you're coming up the side here and it's just, I don't know. It might not be as good once we've got the um, mayor's lodging there uh, and a few things built up over here. Um, yeah, I, I kind of quite like it. Now the fact that everything's at a different height, I, I love that. I walk into this, it feels like you're immersed into it we've got the weird read things that i tried to do running through here i need to get some lily pads in as well uh, and just kind of like decorate up the surrounding area a bit more with the uh, stuff and things obviously there's a lot more of that kind of stuff needs to happen i like the vines on these and um, it just gives it that more wet feeling to it so i'll probably go around and add in some more of those i do need some more oops, some more string just so it doesn't go everywhere uh, i got a couple of reeds in and i went through and did some seagrass just to give a bit of vegetation to the bottom of it which it makes a huge difference, but it, it causes a bit of an issue with the water in places. And um, when it grows, it, it can cause water sources to move, which isn't ideal because of how it's done with the, with the flow of it. I think a fish just died over there. It did. Um, Yes, so f where's the light coming from in this? Oh, um, uh, I put a lamp in there. Um, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy where it's at so far. It's still nowhere near being done. Um, ideally, I could do a change, but I can't update to 116 yet because reasons. Um, but there's a lot more path and 
trees and things like these little trees and the wide bushes they need to get added in so i am gonna do a bit more of that off camera and come back and show you where we are so i will see you guys once i've done a bit more of that so back in a few so it turns out there's not actually too much i can do to prettify this place um at least at the minute while everything's kind of all over the place now i've added in um some random bits and bobs like i've got some flower pots and things around and i've messed some of these off the who's it over here i don't want that one i want that it needs to spread there so this bush that's next to my face right here oh it's a tree um this little kind of privet not privet whatever tree i don't know i'm gonna call it a privet so it's more like a head turn really isn't it um but yeah that tree and that was there um that is more kind of just a place filler just to give a bit of uh, bit of bushery in here uh, so we've got these things around we've got a few well we've only got one pot so far actually I think there we go and I've put some more reeds around here now one thing that I was quite happy with uh, was these underneath it's like the um, the boats kind of just like sitting underneath so it could be something they when they go out um say if they go out on the pond over there or i don't know anything local they can just grab the boat and off they go it's not going to be say, the same as their uh, fishing vessels over there they are going to be a little bit bigger um when i do that i might work on that in the next episode um so get this small bridge here done and get like a dock house and things over there um but yeah at the minute until i've got kind of like the wall in and the rest of the buildings up it's tricky to properly um flesh out the bushes and the stuff and things around just to make it look less plain um this bit here i think is pretty good as it is but obviously there's going to be a road going behind here and down through this way and then you're going to have the cliffs building up building back up behind here so you're going to see that in the background anyway so we're going to have the market over here um which is just gonna be pretty simple i might do that on a stream um just to get that up and running because they shouldn't be too difficult to put together um obviously there's the watchtower here and the stables to do as well as as i said the stuff over there and the main dock just here for like visitors coming through and up there uh, but yeah, like I said, until I've got everything really done, um, it's it's tricky to get it all properly fleshed out. Um, now, I know this place more than over there is going to benefit 100% from getting, let me show you, decoration things. Some of these guys in because we've got obviously fishermen villagers and um, if i can get some more heads having those dotted around will make this place so so much more let me put that back oh no i thought i took a head out um well you know i'll just give it that much more lived in feeling um, and it's going to be a case of putting them in poses with like fishing rods and things um, getting some kids in 
things like that more so than what I plan to do over there that I've still not got around to doing. Um, oh yeah, zombie evasion, just what we want. So, oh wow, that really is a zombie evasion. The problem is, is because underneath, underneath lit up a bit, just so I don't hear it. So the, uh, they really do bring in, in hordes. But yeah, um, once all the vines and things grow out, I think this place is going to look a lot better. We've got obviously some fish in here. I will probably get a few more just because I like um, the thought of, you know, they've got kind of like this giant lake pond thing that meets back up with another big lake over here, which no longer feeds into the ocean. So we've got all that there. It could be like their own private little fishing hole. Um, and then obviously we've got the big ocean there. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, there's not too much I can do until I've got the rest of it fleshed out. So like I said, I'll probably do that over there on stream. And next episode, we shall move over to the the villagers' kind of like private docks. Um, hopefully. And I'm going to do some research in the meantime as well, just to see what else that I can add kind of like in and about just to flesh it out um but yeah um thanks for watching guys uh it's been a while getting this out and i appreciate it if you've made it to the end uh thanks again for for the nice comment uh comments if there's if there's been more in the down there i appreciate it um and i will see you guys in the next episode ciao for now <laughs>